Good Monday morning guys and welcome back to another vloggage episode. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend and enjoyed the weather and whatever you did was good. So it is 5 to 10 on Monday morning. Um, I had a horrific night, um, I vomited last night twice, um, yeah, it wasn't the best night at all, um, was up about four or five times in the night, um, yeah, just not coping very well, pain, um, sickness, all of that jazz, so, yeah, just trying to do what I gotta do. Um, so today the plans are my mum and dad have gone to sort out the paperwork for the new car I'm planning on finishing this today I've got not much left but half of that is like a, a sneak peek at a new book this is so good and the twist unbelievable like didn't see that coming at all like no 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 sir where did you get that from five out of five highly recommend it unless the ending's real shit five out of five um and then i need to choose another another book of that um and yeah just basically chilled restful home day at the moment just trying to do what i've got to do to get through the day my back's just started to hurt um it's my birthday tomorrow i don't know if we are doing anything we're, we're not doing anything major that's for sure we're going to wait until after my surgery and then we're going to do something for all three of our birthdays because mum's is the seventh dad's the second mine the 27th of august and they've all been crap this year because of health so we're going to wait till my surgery is done and i'm recovered enough and then we're going to do something for all of us so um we might end up just going out for a coffee and maybe pop into as the living maybe something like that just something real simple um to get me out of the house but it won't be a lot um because i'm just not up to it at the moment sadly um and then wednesday we're going to try and go and get our nails done in the morning so that'll be dosed up with painkillers and try and go and get them done because mine are horrific that was a lovely sight for you horrific um and then Friday I have counselling, but counselling will be if... Oh, that's awful because of the light. Counselling will be if I'm up to it. If not, it will have to be rearranged. At the moment, my counsellor's really understanding. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's about it, really, for today. Um, it's just... It's just... I feel so low at the moment with just feeling like this every day and the pain and just trying I'm trying to cope with it in the best way that I can but it's just it's so difficult and just trying to get through each day not being able to do what I normally do um which is not a lot but it's still my normal life um it's hard but um I'm just I'm just doing what I've got to do and that's all I can do so I'm really struggling I'm tired and my emotions are all over the place and I'm just feeling sick and bad and every time I eat something no matter what it be I'm just either vomiting or just feeling sick and just oh so just whatever so just doing what I need to do at the moment I'm not going to beat myself up about it that's how it is so um yeah happy monday guys and i hope you all have a fantastic monday i will catch up with you once i finish this book so i'm gonna go and make a hot water bottle take some oxynorm finish this book and then i will catch up with you again happy monday guys i love you all guys coming at you at quarter three in agony just took some more oxynorm 
um, I did a suppository about two, so that's kind of take takes about forty five minutes to work, so I should be getting there. And I have had to have a hot water bottle even in this weather because the pain is unreal today. Um, finish my book. Highly recommend Rumor. Like if you see that book, buy it. It is so good. And now I'm a bit disappointed that I finished it. So I've started this one, but I don't know if I'm going to finish it because Perfect Remains by Helen Fields. It's a D I Kalanet. Kal I can't even pronounce his name, let alone fucking read it. Thriller. Um, but I don't know if I'm in the mood for that, so I might pick something else. I don't know. But I started that one, so I might just see if I can finish it. But. Um, yeah but I'm a bit gutted that I finished Rumour because it was so good so sadness but I'm going to try and get into this book and see if I can get into it because I'm only three chapters in and they're only little chapters so we'll see if I can actually get into it see so i'll catch up with you a bit later guys when i am not in so much fucking pain morning guys it's tuesday and it's my birthday so we're heading out we're just going to pop to as to live in um just for a little look nothing exciting no bungee jumping or anything like skydiving or anything like that today um so yeah we're just going to pop there have a coffee together and that just to have a bit of a time together and get me out of the house for a little while. Had a bit of a rough night again, which is no surprise, but there you go. Um, so happy Tuesday, guys, and I will update you as and when I can. Happy Tuesday. Good afternoon, guys. It is half past two, and look who I've got here. It's a little one. It's a little one who's all feet and everything. Say hi guys. Say hi guys. Who's that then? Who's that then? <laughs> so um, we went to Asda Live In this morning um, and had a cup of coffee and had a look round. So I've bought some books with my birthday money and I bought a pair of trainers. So I'm going to show you what I've bought and then well, I'm just going to show you what I've got, basically. Um, I'm in quite a lot of pain now, so I'm going to show you what i got, and then I can put them away and read my book for a bit. So, I'm going to spin you around, show you what i got, but that's about all we've been doing today. Um, so, yeah, just a nice chilled one. I don't really feel up to doing anymore. We're going to get our nails done tomorrow. I think I might get a pedicure as well. But we'll see how I feel about that one. So I'll spin ya and I'll show ya. So I picked these up. Yes, they are massive. I have really huge feet. So they're just a plain white trainer with leopard print stars on them. Um, and they were £12.50 and they had a nine. So obviously I had to try them and i think that's just where they've been packed so but yeah i really liked them for the winter i love a trainer um with leggings and track suits and stuff so yeah they just got little leopard print details these are in my asda at the moment they're online as well they're reasonably heavy um if you don't like a heavy shoe but i thought they were really lush so i picked them up and then I picked up <laughs> some books. So I picked up The Girl Before You by Nicola Rayner. There's the blurb if you want to pause and read. It um, sounds really good. The new girl on the train, the ending that will leave you gasping. So that sounded really good. So I grabbed that one. Then I grabbed Claire Kendall, I Spy, You Don't See Me But I See You. Um, again, there's the blurb if you fancy a pause and a read. 
so picked up that one then I picked up this one's really different for me because I don't normally do books like this but um, last orders at the start and sixpence so it the cover drew me to this this is like a not chiclet but like a, just a f summer feel good kind of book so I thought that would be quite handy at the moment um, and then this one I picked up the Dean Doris Mary Kate she's like a saga -y kind of writer um, quite light hearted ish again kind of like and I think this is the one I'm most excited about. Susan Lewis, how far would you go to keep your family safe? Home truths. There's the little blurby bit. But it sounded really, really good. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's all the books I got. But pretty good pile there. So yeah, picked up some bargains in Asda. Not that I need another book, but you know, I'm doing a lot of reading at the moment with this pain. So I thought, yeah, sod it, going to pick them up. So I spent some on the birthday money. Um, so yeah, and he's looking at them like. <laughs> so she's just here chilling. Um, I got a new purse for my birthday, some tea light holders. I had bars, um, what else did I get? Money for my speakers, um, a mug, two mugs actually, so I'm, I did really well, so yeah, so I'm going to go and chill now and I'll catch up with you a bit later on guys. So I've just put the books away and made a hot water bottle, well, my dad made me a hot water bottle took my medication and I've chosen a new book because I couldn't get on with that one I was reading. So Susan Lewis, Home Truths. This was one of the ones I was really excited about. Picked it up and it was £5 for a hardback. So I'm going to give this a go. I've never read anything by Susan Lewis but I've heard she's really good. Got my wax melt on with Seychelles from Cotswolds Wax Company smells amazing if you're into your wax melts please i highly recommend you go check their website out i'm not sponsored by them not got a discount code not affiliated whatever you not this is not ad or anything like that it's just i bought some wax off of them i showed it in my last vlog the this is the seychelles is the gem bar and it smells really amazing like peachy a hint banana and i hate banana but tropically like paradise like such a summer scent and amazing and i haven't tried the watermelon one yet that's been in there this is like the fourth third burn and it's still going strong man like strong I was going to change it but don't need to still going strong um hopefully they're going to restock soon so i might go and check actually see if they've restocked because there was a couple of bits that i did want on their website when they've restocked so i might see if they've restocked um Amy's laying at the end of the bed it's cooler in my room than it is in mum and dad's and i'm going to start my new book so um yeah i'm in a lot of pain now um always am this time of day phoned the secretary, the doctor's secretary this morning and she said there's nothing she can do until I've had my pre-op on the 5th of September. Once I've had the pre-op I can phone her back and she will try and get me in for an appointment as quick as possible but it is just hard. So, um, but yeah, I'm just going to try and get through this. But I've been out for a little while today. Obviously, I'm going to try and get out and get my nails done tomorrow with mum, even if we just go to the nail shop, get nails done, come home again um, at the moment, because they are horrific. Um, I know that's not focused on my nails, but they have got bad regrowth, but my gems have stayed on, which is 
good. Um, tomorrow I think I'm going to go for pink and leopard print. I was going to have ombre again but I'm slightly bored of ombre. So I think I'm going to have pink and leopard and I think I'm going to have my pedicure and I'm just going to go for like a pink on my toes as well. I don't have patterns or anything on my toes. Um, so yeah guys, I've had a lovely birthday. We are going to go out for a meal, the three of us, when my operation is done and I'm recovered because all of our birthdays have been a bit crap this year. Uh, Mum and Dad's wedding anniversary on Thursday so they'll probably go out and do something on Thursday and I'm supposed to be going to counselling on Friday but that will depend on how I feel. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to love you and leave you. Just thought I'd come and quickly catch up with you. I'm so happy that I bought those books. I know I shouldn't have done but mm. I love a book, what can I say? I love a book and it's not as though I don't read them, it's not as though I buy them and don't read them, so yeah. Anyway guys, oh that smells amazing. I'm gonna check their website. Good Wednesday morning guys, happy hump day. It is 9.23 or 9.20. If you want to go by Susie it's 9.23, if you want to go by the Fitbit it's 9.20. It's Pissing down. Um, we've just stopped at McDonald's drive through to get coffee because that's essential. Say hi, mummy. Hi, mummy. <laughs> uh, we're going to get nails done. I've took me oxynorm. Mum's excited because she don't like hers. Um, I've took me oxynorm. Slight pain this morning. Not too bad. I had a good night, guys. Whoop, 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 whoop. Times. Come on. Do, 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 do. Um, I only woke up once. Did you help me in the night, or was it Dad, or was it No, he you? woke me up. Oh, I woke Mum up. Um, and she woke me up and nearly smacked you in the face. <laughs> we made me jump. Um, and then I, I think sleep just took over last night. I think I was Exhaustion. at the point, yeah, where my body was. I was so tired that I he think went, fuck the pain. Yeah, I think he did. I think my body just went. Do you know what? Fuck the pain. I'm knackered. Pain or no pain. I'm gonna sleep through it because I was literally at the point where I was focusing, focusing, functioning on like two hours sleep. You're as bad as my Larkfield coffee. Yeah, she said. Yeah. This morning, so, she, she said, "Is McDonald's alright for you?" I said, "Yeah, they use semi skim milk in their in their coffee." And she went, "Oh, in their Larkfield." <laughs> and I think you mean latte. Yeah, that's because I was pissed off with me brother. Yeah, so I was uh, venting me anger and it come out Larkfield instead Larkfield, of latte. Instead of latte. Or so, lat. Or lat. Whatever, Whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go and get our nails done. We won't be doing a lot. One, because of my pain. And two, mum's got breast clinic this afternoon. She's got pain in her boob. Um, don't so mind if I tell the tell internet. Well, <laughs> don't mind, She's mate. got pain in her breasticle. Um, and, and it's the same boob I had a lump taken yeah, out so of. So, she's got to be careful. Got to be careful. Um, at three, is it three o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, three o'clock. I think it's three o'clock. So, um, she's got to go to that so we're just going to go and get nails done fucking roads <laughs> they're delightful aren't they go and get nails done and then coming home plus the weather is shit to go and do anything else really isn't it yeah we um, just bought brolly didn't we, we just bought an umbrella so i've still got flip flops on it's muggy isn't it it's still warm so that's about it really today i'm going to go for pink and leopard so they're going to be a bit brighter um so yeah, I will show you nails and mummy's nails, I promise, like I did last time, when we get home. Um, and I'm gonna go and drink my coffee and chat to the mum, mummy bear. So I will see you all a bit later, guys. Happy hump day. Good afternoon, guys. Hope you're all well. It is 10 to two. <laughs> Clock's changed position. Um, we got home from now, it's about 12 o'clock. Um, to be honest my pain made it a little bit unbearable I just wanted to get out there and get home um, I'll show you mine when there's a little sneak peek um, I'll show you mine and mum's when she gets home she's left because she's got hospital this afternoon she's gone with dad um, I've just made myself a cup of tea in my new mug that Joe bought me for my birthday. Thank you, Joe. I love it. It's the size of my head, and I love it. So I've just made myself a nice brew, um, and I've got hot water to put in my back, done some painkillers, and I'm going to watch the last Kathy Burke 
um, all woman thing that was on and if you haven't watched that stop if you haven't watched that I highly recommend that you do because it is brilliant I think it's on channel 4 so you should be able to get on 4 on demand um, really worth a watch really good so I'm going to sit on the sofa and I'm going to watch that I tried to ring my bestie but she's not answering the phone um, <laughs> hair in my face um, she tried to ring me last night but I passed out so I'll try to ring her back told her I'd ring her back this afternoon but she's not answering her phone so I think she must be um, asleep so <laughs> um, she'll ring me <clears throat> she'll ring me when she sees the missed call um, so yeah I'm just gonna chill at home now for a little bit um, yeah, Dad picked up my tablets from the chemist this morning and all that jazz. Emmy's on my bed. Um, yeah, it's on my tablets. Just gonna chill now. Um, I'm in a lot of pain and this hot water bottle is burning my back, but I don't care. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna watch this Kathy Burke thing and chill for a bit. Whatever you're doing on this lovely hump day, now it's not raining, um, happy hump day. And whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a wonderful one. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling a bit, a bit tired, but uh, I can't tend to sleep very well in the day anymore. Like, I struggle a bit. I don't know why, but um, yeah, so I'm just going to occupy myself for a bit. Um, yeah, so we was going to go, our normal plans after now is we get some lunch and that jazz, but it just wasn't happening today. It just was not happening, so, um, but that's fine, my mum's fine with that as well, she understands, um, obviously she's my mum, um, well, might not be obviously, so, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna chill out with the telly, so I'll catch up with you a bit later, guys. Good morning. Happy Thursday. There's not a, a name for Thursday, is there? Nearly the weekend Thursday. Not oh, shit, but you know what I mean, it's Thursday. Happy Thursday. It is 25 to 10. And your girl is winning this morning. She's winning at life. She's in pain, but she's winning. So, I got up about 20 past eight. It's my mum and dad's uh, 32nd wedding anniversary today. So, um, I'm immensely proud of them for making it that far. And life has really, really, really dealt them some shit cards, bless them. Um, but they've made it through. Um, and I'm really, really proud of them. So, um, we opened their cards and I've had a cup of coffee. Um, I um, Then I've had a wash and stuff, put clean clothes on. Well, I've got like a, this is just a top that I don't wear out and I've got shorts on. Um, and I've dusted my bedroom and now I am my stomach last night like my upper here like here under my boob and round into my back was killing and it still is today I had an okay night I woke up one well I woke up several times but the pain woke me up once and I had some oxynorm and a hot water bottle and I seemed to get back off to sleep um, but it was horrendous last night horrendous and all I had for tea was half a tin of vegetable soup so I'm eating an extremely light diet. Um, so yeah, it's it's really difficult, but it is what it is. So yeah, I've, I've dusted all my bedroom because it was really annoying me how dusty it was. It wasn't rank, it was just dusty. Um, the radiator cover gets really dusty because Immy loves to sit on the windowsill or on the radiator cover so that gets like cat hair on it and dusty so that winds me up and my candle tray gets dusty really easy because it's glass so that needs cleaning very often 
so um oh bollocks I forgot to do the photo frames um they don't get too bad though because they're over in that corner um so yeah I've done all that and now I'm just sitting here cooling down a little bit and then I'm going to make a hot water bottle because it's killing um not long now till my pre-op on the second no fifth what am I talking about fifth um I was really worried about Immy last night she's hiding under the, not hiding under the bed a lot at the moment but I think it's the heat you, like my dad said to me and it is true you imagine wearing a fur coat in 30 degree heat you're not going to be very happy about it are you um she's eating she's drinking she's peeing she's pooping she's fine she's just not happy um which is understandable she's laying on the back of the sofa at the moment and she's been quite chatty this morning like her usual meowing at you and you chat to her um, but she wasn't like that yesterday so I don't know if she felt a bit off colour yesterday or what considering she's probably got irritable bowel disease um, which is why she's on special food um, yeah bless her so just keeping a close eye on her she has got a vet's appointment next Tuesday anyway um, to have her yearly jabs and her claws clipped which she's going to hate bless her but um, it needs doing um, but yeah so I was a bit worried about her last night but she seems okay today so um, just hope it doesn't get too hot for her um, but yeah so apart from that my plans are not much today I was out yesterday getting nails done I was out the day before because it was my birthday so I'm gonna try it and get through a little bit more of this this is really good Susan Lewis Home Truths this is her newest one I believe and I've also got One Minute Later up there which um, is another new one of hers but look how many books right bear with I have to do this because Samson are really late to the party I don't even know if you can see that yeah look how many books she's wrote so I'm pretty happy that I've found this new author because she's written a whole load of other books. So yeah, I'm going to try a couple of more of hers. So yeah, I'm pretty happy that I found her and this one's really good. So hopefully they'll all be good. So yeah, I'm going to focus on that. I got two like, what did I get two last night? page well I'm on page 90 and it's really good so I've only been reading it since my birthday so and I I know a lot of people would be a lot further on but I read at my own speed so yeah I read quite a lot yesterday afternoon so it's really good I'm liking it I'm enjoying it so if you if you like it it's it's not a thriller um at the moment I wouldn't say it's a thriller I would just say it's a like a family drama kind of book but it's really good so if you're after something that's quite really good but quite easy to read at the same time pick that up and it was five pound in asda for a hardback which is not bad at all so that's my plan for today so yeah i haven't straightened my hair so hence why i've got this little little bit that's like do you like my earrings that Joe bought me? I love them. I've got lots of different colours. They got the pink ones in. Thank you, Joe. I love them. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to chill. I'm going to go make a hot water bottle. So, happy Thursday, guys. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're all okay. And you're, if you've got illnesses, I hope they're behaving themselves for you. And, yeah, you're living your best life you can. Um... So I was well, supposed to go to counselling yesterday but I got in touch with my counsellor last night, uh, tomorrow even, got in touch with her last night and we've agreed that I'm not going to book any more appointments. I've got a telephone call with her on the 13th of September which would be when my next appointment falls because like I said to her I don't want you to lose business. And you know what I mean, if me, I keep letting her down at the moment. So, um, 
yeah, it, even going by yesterday, trying to sit there and get my nails done, it's just not happening. Like, I was on the tenter hooks the whole time. I was just like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I want to go, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. Um, and as soon as we got out of there, we went home. I was like, let's go. So, um, yeah, it's not happening at the moment. So, yeah, that's what's going on. So, I love you and leave you guys, and I'll catch up with you throughout the day. I was going to film cleaning for you, but it's just not happening at the moment. So, I'll catch up with you later. Happy Thursday. Look who came to see me, guys. Look. And look at these perfect little feet. Look. Look at them. Have you ever seen anything more perfect? Do you know what? Even though I'm in agony at the moment, and life's not great for me, I appreciate the small things in life, like her. A good book cup of coffee and my baby she's so soft and oh I just appreciate her so much and these little feedies oh she took the bunny legs sorry guys but I'm obsessed with her back legs oh look at the pink of them look close up of the paws and these little bits here, they're called toll beans. They are actually called beans because they look like baked beans. <laughs> they're her beanies, aren't they? Hey? Oh, I love her. Are you okay, Amy Cat? Is you coming to see Mummy? She don't like me touching her feet, but sometimes she'll let me. They're just so soft and pure white. Pure white. But she's, I just appreciate, like, I've got my book here and I'm going to go and make a cup of coffee in a minute and she's going to watch the dicky birds, look. She's going to watch the dicky birds and I'm in so much pain but I can't help appreciate the little things like her and my book, you know. And a couple of people messaged me about this thing. This is a teddy bear that my nan, who passed away in 2001, bought me the day I was born so he's just turned 31 years old he's as ragged as fuck look at his bum look where I've just like rubbed him <laughs> he's got all bits missing but I just I can't and I won't throw him away like he sits on my bed and if I'm feeling really down I just find myself cuddling him and it's just an anxiety thing I know if I'm really anxious he like like I just squeeze him and I can't get rid of him so he just sits on my bed and he will do wherever I am however old I am till he literally falls apart but he's holding up pretty well I mean it, it was pink so I think it's supposed to be a he a she but she's holding up pretty well she doesn't have a name she's just called Ted but I was obsessed with her when I was younger like I carried her everywhere but then my mum persuaded me to leave her indoors because she didn't want me to lose her and I just took her everywhere she came to all my hospital appointments all my operations with me everything but I appreciate this little one so this book's good I've got a hot water bottle in my back I'm gonna go and make a coffee even though I'm in pain I'm just appreciating what I have got It's okay guys I just want to show you this beautiful mug that the lovely Jo bought me she bought me this for my birthday along with some earrings a candle and some S T I C K S for Immy I can't say the word or she'll want one but isn't it beautiful it's huge you can go swimming in it I love it I love it, it's got a massive handle, a little peplum at the bottom, whatever you call it. I love it. Thank you so much, Joe. It's beautiful and it's got a seat on it. Love a new muggage. Love it. And it's also her birthday today. So happy birthday, Joe. We met through my channel and we've been chatting on WhatsApp for probably about six to eight months now and it's been lovely getting to know her we've got so much in common so happy birthday darling i hope you have a wonderful day 
and thank you so much for my beautiful gifts and I hope you love yours too. So happy birthday, darling. Have a lovely, lovely day. Imi's just had a brush, so she's all pretty. Imi, are you a pretty girl? As a pretty, pretty girl, aren't you? So yes, mummy just busts me, guys. So I got no fur. A nice looking so pretty. I just looking out for my friends. Yes, my friends, they come in the garden. She's all pretty, aren't you? She let me brush her chest, her white bit there, and her wickers, and her paws, and all down her back, and, but she didn't let me do her belly, so that's fair enough. So, her belly's so soft as it is, so. She had a good 10 minute brush, didn't you? Yeah, there's a good girl, she's so pretty. Guys, it is 10 to 9. Sorry, it's been a while since I caught up with you, but I haven't had a good day pain wise, especially since about lunchtime. Um, so, yeah, not feeling the best. Um, I've had to take my suppositories and my oxynorm and hot water bottles to try and get on top of it. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit painful to say the least so um oh yeah oh, um i've read quite a lot of my book which is really good um and i'm enjoying that so i think i'm gonna try and settle down for the night now because i'm tired and um yeah i've been in pain all day so i'm gonna try and get comfortable and see if i could doze off for a couple of hours so I'll see you bright and squarely for Friday's edition guys, good night. Happy Friday guys, yes I am wearing the same top as yesterday, I only had it on for a couple of hours and then I put a nighty on, so I didn't bother washing it because it was only on for like two and a half hours. Um, happy Friday, it's Friday. Um, it is about 25 past nine. I'm just waiting for the washing machine to stop spinning. Um, and then I need to put some washing out for mum. Um, I was in pain the second I woke up this morning. Feeling really, really cheesed off. Um, in pain, fed up, pissed off, you name it. Um, had an okay night. Woke up once, just once by the pain um, for some more Oxynorm and a hot water bottle, but the rest of the time it was manageable, um, which it's not now. Um, I'm just going to put the washing out and then I'm going to sort out, put my editing, my clips into my editing programme and then see what I've got editing wise to do. Um, but to be honest, I probably won't edit it it today I'll probably do it tomorrow um, or over the course of a couple of days because I'm in a lot a lot of pain this morning so um, video might even be late this week if I don't get it done by Monday so we'll see guys we'll see um, you just have to bear with me at the moment so I'm gonna do that Immy's in her box under the bed she slept with me most of the night um, She's fine. She had a bit of a blip on Thursday, no, Wednesday, where it was really hot. But she was fine yesterday. She came out, she was on the bed, she's eating, she's fine. Um, so she's all good, I think. Nothing wrong with her. She's been poo, so I think she's all okay. Um, yeah, so she's just in her box. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got planned for today. I was supposed to be going counselling. But I think I told you yesterday that I cancelled that um, due to just not being able to, to do that at the moment. Um, so I'm going to go and put this washing out and then come back in, make hot water bottle, sort out my editing and then get some painkillers. Um, so yeah, next week is my pre-op. Thank God. Um, hopefully that will be done and then I can ring his secretary and say right give me some dates 
so yeah that's it guys happy friday i hope you all have a wonderful friday and i will catch up with you sporadically throughout the day mum and dad have just left to go food shopping get that done on friday like they normally do it's gone to pick me up some nova coal from the chemist and that's about it really so um yeah happy friday and i will speak to you very soon so guys it's 25 past 10 i've just finished editing the vlog up to this point it's not a great long vlog this week but it is the nearly 40 minutes long so far i just want to speak to you about this book because i mentioned it but i am that far through now so a good quarter of the way through um, it is brilliant, like a really, really good book. Um, I highly recommend it. It's got lots of twists in it, um, but it's very well written, very easy to follow. Um, I've not got to any major events yet, um, other than family just going to lose their home through debt. Um, but I really do recommend this book if you've not read anything by Susan Lewis. Again, judging on this work, I will be checking out more of her books. I do have one more on my shelf, um, but she has written a hell of a lot. So she's done like some general fiction on this side. Then she's done books that run in sequence. Uh, no Child of Mine, Don't Let Me Go, You Said Forever. Um, detective Novels. Um, some other ones there and some memoirs at the bottom if they're your thing so yeah just uh, go and check her out she's quite a famous author I've seen her around um, quite a lot hello Bubba but hello good morning and you come out we've had quite a lot of Vimmy in this vlog say hi guys come and say hello to the guys say good morning to the guys good morning you got up have you is it nearly time for your lunch she has lunch between 11 and half 11 so she's been in her box under her bed haven't you you slept with mama didn't you last night you slept with mama yeah you did you was looking after me wasn't you he's a good girl but yeah, check this out guys if you see it. Home Truth. It's plural. Really, really good. Check it out. And I am going to keep this little one. She's a stunner. She's a stunner. Aren't ya? You stunning? Are you stunning? Are ya? Yeah. Are you stunning? You are. You're beautiful after your brush yesterday, aren't you? Oh. Oh, oh, we won't show you that. So, yeah, guys, check this book out. Like I say, I got it from Asda for a fiver, which I don't think is too bad for a hardback, considering that the retail price of this, I think, retailed, I saw in the bottom cover. Maybe it was in the front. £12.99. So, not bad at all for five pound. So, yeah, I'm going to go and read some of that. Um, I'm going to wait for a coffee until the parents get home, because... Um, we normally have a coffee together. Um, so yeah, just got my hot water bottle in my back. I've done the editing, which I'm pleased about. So yeah, just thought I'd show you, do a bit of a book talk in this one. Um, but I have got quite a few. These are the ones I bought at Asda for my birthday. These are some new ones as well. These are some new ones. So yeah, I might do a reorganising my bookshelf at some point. Those Leslie Pierce ones my mum needs to read. Well, she's read the house across the street. Um, but yeah, I am loving laying here looking at my books as well. I've always wanted a bookshelf and I've never had one. I've got my little light box up there. Hashtag book obsessed. This one's new as well. I read her first one, which is Heidi Perks, um, which I can't remember what it was called now. You know, something about a child vanishing. That was good. So I've got come back from, for me to read. So yeah, I'm really excited about all this reading I'm able to do at the moment. It's one good thing about being in pain all the time. 
so yeah loads of books let me know what you're reading in the comments guys i would love to know what you're reading at the moment if it's any good and if you recommend it let me know good afternoon guys I'm gonna mute the telly before i get copyrighted um it is five past three um i'm just gonna watch Gemma collins program thing that i recorded I've got a hot water bottle i've had my lunchtime or afternoon suppository and some more oxynorm but um it has yet to work it's not as bad as it has been so i think it's just slowly edging in um so yeah i'm gonna watch Gemma collins diva forever i think it's called she's not like my i'm not her biggest fan but i quite like her so i don't mind watching it i um so i'm gonna do that um and then i'll probably read my book until um it's time to watch the telly tonight which i've been watching working mums for like a couple of episodes of that because they're like half an hour long and then i've been watching only fools and horses because I don't have to think about it it's just there it's my pain gets so bad in the evening that I just don't have to think about it and plus I quite like only horse and horses so there you go so um today food wise I've had three low fat um digestive biscuits no rich tea biscuits I really like those like I love a rich tea anyway but these are the low fat ones and dunked in a cup of tea or coffee nice um that was the front gate if you heard that by the way so neighbors who've been this car out they go on holiday tomorrow um i had those this morning about nine o'clock because i just couldn't face milk or anything like that and then for lunch i had less than half a can of soup and half a slice of bread um dumped in the soup and then I started to feel sick so I left that and that's all I've eaten today which is fine I'm gonna lose so much weight I by the time I do surgery I'm gonna be giving Kim K a run for my money hmm wishful thinking or what um yeah so um but that's fine I'm just my dad's gonna make me either an omelette tonight if I don't fancy it, no, with no cheese though, let's just make that clear. Um, if I don't fancy that, then um, I might have a jam sandwich. Quite fancy a jam sandwich, to be fair. So I might have half a slice of bread with a jam sandwich. Um, so yeah, but I'm not really, I'm not hungry. Um, but I'm just trying to keep my stomach ticking over because I had stomach surgery. I had a weight loss surgery in 2015 so and I've lost nine stone but I have to just keep that ticking over otherwise I get sick I get like a feeling of sickness because it's empty um so yeah that's that um so I'm gonna go to watch this and then I will catch up with you a bit later um I had a lovely sort of went for a nap earlier but in me I didn't sleep I just laid there for a little while just enjoying the peace and quiet and just a little bit of a break from the pain and just laid there and Amy come and laid next to me she was snoring so she slept but I just was laying there just thinking and it was quite nice to just have her next to me like she was squished next to me so that was quite nice um, and we've just watched The Secret World of Your Rubbish which was really interesting yeah just had a chill day at home really we've got nothing on at the weekend so yeah just a chilled one i think anyway guys i love you and leave you and i'll catch up with you a bit later good saturday morning guys i've just come on with you to sign off for the weekly vlog um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this week's vlog um if you did please give it a thumbs up please like and leave a comment in the description in just now in the comments box a friendly comment and please subscribe as well because it would really mean a lot to me and welcome to the family um and as always i will see you bright and squirvy next week for another weekly vlog um 
it's Saturday, it's 20 to 10, I've just had a wash, brush my teeth and stuff, I had a horrific night, I'm feeling really pants this morning, so I'm just going to have a day at home obviously, um, Immy's in the bed, watching the dicky birds, I've just made a hot water bottle and took some Oxynorm, and I'm going to just pick up my book, um, might end up in the garden at some point, but it just depends. I've got hair on me, how much pain I'm in throughout the day. So, happy Saturday, guys, and I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you really soon. Bye.